Hola muchachos, my name is Elena and I'm an expat living and working in Barcelona, Spain. Today I want to show you my apartment, which is located in Le Champlain neighborhood. Before this, I already rented an apartment in Raval, which is a more touristic and more popular region, but uh, those two regions are so, so, so different. I recommend you watch the video before watching this one. Le Champlain is a very wide street neighborhood, lots of new buildings, but doesn't have as much attitude. Also, it's on the safer side, on the cleaner side. But I guess it doesn't have all that authentic color that a lot of tourists are looking for in a neighborhood. Nevertheless, I like it more than Raval. And now let me show you the apartment. This is the lobby of the building. This is where the concierge sits, but right now it's lunch, so she's out for lunch. The mailboxes and um, a way for people with disabilities to get to the second floor. But as you can see right now, it's out of order. We don't really need to use that, nor the elevator. We are just on the second floor, which is called Principal. Come on in, guys. But first, take off your shoes. This is a no-shoes apartment. It's very different from the lifestyle of the Spanish people who always are going inside in their shoes. We leave our shoes at the entrance. And here we have a very small corridor. Also, there's a... Um, what's it called? intercom although we don't use it because we never order anything the biggest room in the apartment is the living room slash dining room it is just a <laughs> ginormous room the kitchen is fully equipped and this is one of the big pluses of this apartment just like a storage also storage with cleaning supplies washing a machine which is not very frequent for Spanish apartments, a dishwasher. Then we have a stove, we have this uh, microwave, and then, you know, all sorts of cutlery that we need with lots and lots and lots of storage space. Everything on top is basically storage space and it's more than we need even for a month of stay. Here is the uh, fridge, we also have a freezer down here and some more storage if that wasn't enough. This is a place that we use for, for chilling. It has this huge sofa. We brought our Apple TV with us so we can just sit and enjoy good movies. We are still figuring out the uh, coffee table situations because sometimes I exercise on this mat. I use the coffee table for my feet and the other coffee table for putting the keys and stuff we need to take when we go out because, you know, the corridor is so small, nothing fits into this. Uh, besides the Apple TV, everything was here. The TV is huge, although, disclaimer, always check with your landlords what's the internet. So the internet that we have here is not the best and sometimes when I'm in a video call and Eugene is also in a video call, the quality um, is not very good. This is Eugene workstation and sometimes my workstation. Also, we have our meals here. Really nice, good table. And um, this is sort of, a, I don't know what's the English word for it, like a closed balcony, I guess. Unfortunately, all the windows in this apartment are internal windows. So they're looking in the interior courtyard and I actually wanna show you what it looks like. Well, you can see that we don't have a great view. If you don't turn the lights, it gets pretty dark. Here we have one more room. This is the bathroom. A pretty standard one by Spanish standards. So sink, mirror, has good lighting, the toilet and the shower. Uh, the shower is something that was a bit more difficult for us because every time when we shower there's water splashing and we have to um, uh, mop it so that's not very comfortable and again internal windows <laughs> we are looking at a wall not to say that in the bathroom i want you know like a full view mirror somebody uh, to be looking at me but extra light is always good and this apartment is definitely lacking it this is a one bedroom apartment so the last room that i need to show you is the bedroom Ta -da! This is the darkest room so far in the apartment. It has one internal window and it 
almost never gets enough sunlight which is not a problem if it were only a bedroom but sometimes i work from here and um, you know it's difficult without the lights can't do anything there is a mirror here then one big bed two bedside tables and there uh, we have a wardrobe it's a smaller one but nevertheless everything that we want fits and we also and we also have a TV. The problem is though, we only have one Apple TV, so uh, usually it stays connected in the living room, which means that this one is not as functional. The apartment is 1,900 euros, which is still very, very high for one bedroom apartment in my opinion, but it's much better than our previous one. Again, if you haven't watched it, please watch the room apartment tour of our place in Raval, where we are not staying anymore. Uh, and to find out why, you can just watch the video. But the price includes all the amenities, and here we have a really good system of heating. It's all heated through a central vent, and we can adjust the temperature, it works pretty well. So in a nutshell, it's a really good place. The price is still on the higher side, but the light in the apartment, the internal windows, and the internet are causing us some trouble. That's it for the tour, guys. I would be really interested in knowing what you think about the apartment, what you think about the price, and what are comparable prices in your home countries for an apartment of similar size and similar design. Let me know. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.